Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, I'm the man on that stage. You are, you're playing it. And we're playing Madden 20, <clears throat> the four to nine a night. Four to nine, <laughs> you're the coach, man. <clears throat> Arabian four to nine a night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Arabian days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Okay. As always, we're playing offense only. We're simming that D. We're using the no. We're not using. We're, I mean, he's using something. The 49ers playbook, <laughs> and he's playing on pro everyone because he's a professional. I'm a professional man player, <laughs> as the difficulty insinuates. Yeah, yeah, you're pro, Jonas. Pro, yeah. Let me tell you something. What's that? So I noticed that I've been itching a lot more lately. Itching? Yes. Like in your crotch? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. It has been in my crotch area, Jonas, since you wanted to toss that in the video. Thanks. I thought I was being facetious. <laughs> no, dude. Cute. It has been in like some of the, like, the inner thighs and in the, in the back of my back, my lower back. Uh, yeah, dude. One Are butch. you just like, do you have dry skin? So I also started, I'm not even paying attention. All right, we got to go because I'm running out yeah, of time. Yeah, you can't. Up, oh, play game. Okay, see, I wasn't paying attention. All right, uh, but uh, so I also noticed that. Shut up, dude. I know. Fine, accept it. Uh, I also noticed that I started getting like these little blisters on my fingers, uh -huh. like on like the sides of my fingers. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if this is just like my herpes flaring up or right. I'm kidding. I didn't know if I was like dying of AIDS. I'm kidding. I didn't know if I had like some like serious disease. Right, right, right. And right, I was right. a little concerned. So yeah. I look it up. And it turns out is that what I have all the symptoms of is called the dehydrosis. And what's that? Or hydrosis. Okay. Don't catch me. Don't catch me. No. Oh, wow. Uh, essentially, it's just dry skin. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and they don't, like, I was all over Mayo Clinic. Like any responsible adult, you just I go. I mean, you work with a bunch of, like, medical people. Yeah, but like it's yeah, yeah. I'd rather just go on the internet. But I had all the symptoms, and it was like uh, these bumps. They have they itch a lot, um, and they will eventually break. They say it lasts for about three weeks, and it has been about three weeks. I'm finally starting to get some effing relief, Jonas. But uh, that sucks, man. It does suck. And they were like, we don't really know what causes it, so they just say if you moisturize regularly and uh, like there's some topical creams I can use. You're a moisturizer. I have Jesus, man. Yeah, I do. I do have moisturizer, but I don't really moisturize every day. Like usually, when I get ready for work, I'm like I'm out the door as soon as I get I out of the shower. You. I'm one of them type of boys. I don't moisturize. No, you don't, Jonas. You're ashy and don't even know it. I'm. I'm just. I'm living ashy life. <laughs> ashy, Larry. Why would I go this way? Because you're good, dude. Dude, you don't expect them to like. Like I see the hole. Yeah. And then I'm expecting like to get control of him like later in the in the play. But I don't. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. the first down though. Yeah, man. I, I, yeah. I've never had to like. I hate lotion so much. What's your deal with lotion, my I man? Freaking hate it, dude. What man. is there to hate about? Lotion? I don't like the feeling of it on my skin, bro. <laughs> I must have so much moisture in my skin that it doesn't absorb because I feel like it's on there all day. Oh, the lotion? Yeah, dude. It's like I feel all like gooey all day long. You feel gooey? Yeah, dude. Like the oily lotion boys. See now, I love the feel of lotion on my skin. It's like cool. What did I do? Too many. Yeah, but it's like relieving to you because you have dry skin. If you don't have dry skin, it's not relieving. It's like putting oil on top of oil. Oh, you're wait, you're oily? Ah, oh, dude, I'm moisturized. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Look, Jonas. Uh, this is a racially charged question. It is, well, it, no, this right. is, no. The question I'm about to ask well, you this is racially. Whole topic is racially charged. Is yeah. it? No, no, no. dude. All right, yeah. all right. Here, here we go. All right, get in the freaking end zone, dude. That's not racially charged. No, it's not. <laughs> the racially charged question is, uh, if you were to not wash your hair for like three days, uh huh, it would get like oily, oily and greasy. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yes, uh, absolutely. The, m my hair would get dry. Okay, is that how that works? Um, I guess just with the hair, yes. Okay. As far as your skin, it doesn't really matter, like, the degree of melanin as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know. Right. Uh, with the amount of lubricant that your skin <laughs> produces naturally. Yeah, maybe naturally. I just have, I'm naturally lubed up, dude. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> You're a, a wet boy, dude. <laughs> Could you get the freak off of me? Yeah, I'm just lubed up all the time. Oh, Jonas is a wet boy. 
Yeah, like yeah, that's maybe fine, that's Josh. it, dude. Like, cause yeah, my hair. I have to like wash my hair daily. I don't have a lot of hair. I, I keep it short, but um, yeah, when I had long hair, dude. Ooh boy, sometimes by 3 p.m. I was like, ooh, is this? Ooh. You were sticky. Need another shower. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Really, no, no, it wasn't that. I'm not that bad. But you know, sometimes you see some Caucasian males. And they got some grease boy hair, dude. Looks like they put some Crisco in it. <laughs> wow, Jonathan. I don't, I don't feel comfortable <laughs> even chiming in on this, dude. <laughs> I know, because you're like, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know. This sounds racist. No, I don't. I, I'm not. Yeah, you talk your ish, Jonathan. I know, dude. I like talking about Caucasians. I'm like, <laughs> It's the one race I can talk about. <laughs> yeah, it's like your shit. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I, I neither deny or agree with what you're saying. The, the views about that Jonas speaks about Caucasians do not represent the entire crazy jo- Jonas is sounding like a Chris Rock set right over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I hate about some honkies? <laughs> 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 they always go to the manager like it's the manager's problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's, it's like it, it, that would be like the equivalent of a Chris Rock. I should do that kind of comedy. I should just be like Chris Rock, but white people version. <laughs> And then, like, people can't even get offended. They're like, well, uh, you know. <laughs> well, that is how they are. <laughs> you know what, Susan? He does have a point. <laughs> you know what, Roger? I really get this joke. I can relate. <laughs> yeah, Susan, it's, uh, he makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Karen. <laughs> we do do that. Chet. <laughs> Bradley. <laughs> Bradley, that is, that's our, that's our life. <laughs> Oh, God. He sacked me, Jonas. I'm Dude. still winning the game. Tiente. <laughs> Second and... But we even start talking about lotion. <laughs> I was talking about lotion. I start. <laughs> but but for the most part, uh, yeah, I guess... I don't know, man, because it does seem like lotion is definitely... But there's white people who have ashy skin and yeah, use and lotion all the time, too. So it's not like... Yeah, it's not based on the melanin. And definitely psoriasis, which is just like another form of... Yeah. And it's eczema. The, it's you it's ha- the redness. Yeah, and you had eczema, right? Mm-mm. You never had eczema? No. Oh, son of a bee. No, but yeah, it's like it's where you get like the rash instead of like the dry skin. Same difference. Yeah, I used to get eczema in my and anti- in my antecubitals. The hell was that? That's your AC space, but where your where your elbow bends. Oh, okay. Like where there's a lot of like. I gotcha. Yeah, I used to get it there, and I used to get first downs. Oh, you mean you currently do? I currently still get first downs. I so. currently and always have gotten first downs. Yeah, that's kind of what I do. Yeah, aw, that's very nice of you. Yeah, so, um, I mean, I'm glad that I don't have, like, like cancer, to be honest. Cause it, wow. <laughs> I really <laughs> thought it was I'm cancer. I'm also glad I'm that, too. Thank you. I really thought it was cancer for a second. There. That's not a cancer... I don't, dude. I was getting like these weird, more blisters. like leprosy. I was getting these weird blisters on the inside of my finger, and they didn't hurt, dude. And I was squeezing them, and like some fluid was coming out like, of them. Is this, is this, is this the herb? Yeah, dude. Then my inner thighs were like Jonas, man. Well, the other day, I, we were out here, and I was like, yes. just, like Did you just like? Yes. <laughs> you like? It's like you were digging for gold in your taint, dude. There, dude. <laughs> dude, like, it, like, dude, it gets pretty raw in my room. <laughs> <laughs> it's raw and uncut. It's itching in there. It's, it's TNT after dark. There's some serious itching going on in there. <laughs> TNT after dark. <laughs> uh, funny. Wait, who's the Y is who I want to toss it to? All right. Run, bro, run. Oh, my oh. God. The QB get it. Garoppolo. Oh, look at Yellow shimmy now. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh. Burgo down now. What the hell? Suave, bro. Look at him. <laughs> He's showing his gangster. Hat. That was nothing gangster <laughs> about it. Was super gangster, dude. <laughs> that, was, that was like your 54 year old granddad comes to the. <laughs> comes in. He has on his freaking sequin jumpsuit and his cane. <laughs> exactly. He's like, Look, come here, young blood. <laughs> come here, young blood. I'm sure you got a his thing. Chalice. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like he does that little like little like those soft kisses to every as he walks by all the women like super inappropriate. He's just like, <laughs> come here, let me holler at you, young thing. <laughs> young thing, let me holler at you. 
some pretty lady. Mm. <laughs> like, ew. God. I, you, I, I nibble on you like a pork chop. I sneeze from outside. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, eh? I nibble on you like a pork chop. Oh, okay. dude. I chew you up like a piece of gristle, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like this character. <laughs> I do too. I'm going to use that one in improv class. <laughs> he drives a... He, Sleazy Jenkins. He drives a Buick Century. Oh, you know, I picture him driving an El Camino, but a convertible version. Oh, okay. A convertible El Camino. Oh, he has the back filled up with some... Oh, like, yeah. He put some money into that. He has like ice and like beer in the back of his El Camino. He has a party wagon. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> He's got an inflatable zebra in the passenger okay, seat. Okay, Jonas. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Dude, I like it. He has on a, I don't know, he's, he's like a purple velour jumpsuit with like I sequins. Like, I like the purple velour jumpsuit. I want a velour jumpsuit. <laughs> Especially if it has like uh, the night, the Reebok, not Reebok. Oh, no, no, it's Reebok. Reebok. <laughs> it's a Reebok. What about the Puma logo? That's even more sleazy. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's more sleazy if it's Puma? <laughs> I don't know why. Dude, Dude what, Reebok that, is pretty that, bad. That alligator embroidered on the chest. Uh, what is that? Lacrosse? Yeah, Lacrosse? La La I don't know which one that La is. Lacrosse? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I like Jones. it. Well, it's like that stuff you get out of like Macy's or something. When's the last time you've been in a Macy's? Oh my god, I think they all closed. <laughs> no, they're still open. Oh, are they? Yeah. Um, never. You've never like, been in a Macy's? I don't think I've ever been in a Macy's, no. Well, I mean, probably as a child with my mom, I bet. Like, I don't understand who Macy's is trying to adver advertise uh, for. Middle-aged white women. Is it working for them? Uh, oh they're closing, God. so no. <laughs> well, brick and mortar is closing yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that's true. Dude, pretty soon the mall is just going to be like, build a bear. Yeah. Like, every store is going to be build a bear. Yeah, you're not even wrong. It's like, it's, yeah, it's weird. It's crazy because like uh, like Kmart, Jonas, and, and Sears, which were like powerhouses for a millennia. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, they're all closed, man. Bankrupt. When they they merged, all the yeah. Kmart's closed. Dude, Kmart was a good store, man. It was like yeah. Walmart's little brother. I Kmart like, was Walmart before Walmart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, did Walmart kill Kmart? I us? think it did. Or yeah. did millennials do it? Because uh, millennials yes. are known for doing stuff like they that. They destroy everything. Yeah. They destroyed the middle class. <laughs> yep. They, they destroyed paper. Napkins. Yeah, dude, napkins. Yep. Uh, uh, single home dwellings. Uh, milk. The milk industry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, actually killed, a thing. They killed tobacco. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they, they created but a But they don't have industry. a problem with the reefer. Or the vaping industry. Hell yeah, Jesus. They're all like, oh, bro, let me put... Catch it, boy. Let me put some vapor in my lungs. Let me put some. Get me all hopped up on vapes. Did you notice that since they started? Oh yeah, Jonas, you saw the thing about them trying to legalize it a lot, like federally. And oh stuff. yeah, the weed. Yeah, have you looked at anything else? On I that? have not since that article I sent you. All right, it came up. Have you? I read that article you sent me, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the the house was just like, let's make it federally legal, and then it had to go to the Senate, and whatever. But the Senate's Republican controlled, and blah blah blah. But dude, it's gonna happen. It, yeah, I mean, within our lifetime. I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was next year. Really? You think that? Well, big? maybe after the next presidential election, so like 2021. Ugh. Does it depend on who gets the seat, Jonas? I, I think, think it does. Yeah, 100. percent I think it does. I think there's no way that the current president would ever sign that into law. No. Um, but I think if a Democratic candidate was in there, he'd be like, "Free money, free weaver." <laughs> Weefer? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they call it. When Honestly. Old. Yeah. It, so it sounds less uh, less dangerous when you call it Weefer. Weefer. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, oh, he's just smoking a little Weefer. You got some Weefer? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, dude. He's just injecting some Weefer into just his veins. And injecting. <laughs> Injecting Weefer into his veins. He's just freebasing some he's Weefer. Just free basing we <laughs> he's never done that. Weefer Sutherland. Alright, uh. Weefer Sutherland. Let's go to single back, I think. And I want another run, because runs are helping me a lot. It seems like all runs just look the same to me. It's like, hey, go up the middle, go to the right. Yeah, they, um. I mean, there's not a lot you can do with a run, my friend. Yeah, it's either go to the right, go to the left, or go up the center. Yeah. You, you ever notice that's, that? That's about it. I mean, there's a lot of different variety on the blocking schemes and stuff, but you're not to that point. Ah. Ooh. Please. All right, I'm going to pass it now. 
what's gonna turn out to be the final so you're going to survive is essentially what you're saying. I think I am. I'm going to attempt my best at survival. I mean, can you pay next month's run ahead? So if you do die, I can have that. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, I need next month's rent, dude. Because like, you... if you die, I got to find someone else to sleep in your room. Oh, you mean if I die from my, my uh, dry skin? Yeah, dude. If your dry skin kills you, can oh. you just prepay? <laughs> I thought you just meant in general. I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> you know something I don't? Like, hey, can you pay, can you pay January up real quick just like, in case? Jesus, man. No, no, no. I just meant if your dry skin murdered you. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to turned into leprosy or something. No, dude. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's nothing. I do have some creams in there. I have some uh, some new support. Some ointment. Yeah, I got some Usaporin and some Tramsone. Oh, that's nice. It sounds good. Yeah, dude, and I've got some lotions with aloe. Oh, I hear aloe helps you get uh, coitus. Yeah, it does. Dude. Girls love it, dude. <laughs> They're like, ooh, you have aloe on your skin? Let me... You know what? I, you know, Jonas, and I, I have this thing with lotion also. Okay. That, uh, I have, like, lotions that... Uh, Complement the colognes I like to wear. Oh, you have scented lotions that complement. Well, colognes. I mean, I, they do have a slight scent. Like I like. Uh, I'm not gonna say which one I use the majority of the time. Okay. But I do have one that complements very nicely with one of my colognes, and they just kind of like it adds to the to the Ooh, fragrance. Oh, nice, dude! It's like you put the pheromones in it. Yeah, and then I have some more medicated stuff that smells like ass. But... Then the ladies just swoon at you. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, I like it. But the medicated stuff just makes me. Make them think that I'm an old man. Yeah, they're all like, uh, somebody has some Ben Gay on. I smell some icy hot. <laughs> oh, why do you smell like a medicine cabinet? <laughs> you smell like my grandma's Sorry, house. Sorry, Grandpa was over earlier. Yeah, that gave him a worked. long hug. <laughs> that gave him. A <laughs> That's a good, good cop out, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I like hugging my granddad. You yeah, have a problem? You, you got a problem with me hugging my granddad? F you. First uh, down. Like you, you smell like an old folks. <laughs> uh, Jonas, how am I doing? I'm winning. Dude, you're, you mean you're, you're coming along, dude. You're <laughs> I'm a little old Padawan. I am, dude. I'm getting, I'm doing uh, like the same a three Jedi plays. Knight in training. Oh, look at him. He's look all at him. Oh. He's all growed up, folks. And I just recently got into like, uh, like beard oils. Yeah. Do you rock beard oils at all? You got. I do a... now that I've like I'm growing my beard out. So. Right. But you you never did before. No, no, because I always kept it short. Did you ever get beard dandruff? I did not. I don't have dry skin. Yeah, I know, but still. Like... No, dude, I never got uh, beard dandruff, but I do find that, like, since I let my beard grow a bit thicker now, and I use beard oil, yeah. it helps uh, keep it from, like, being everywhere. It kind of, like... Oh, it, like, like, lays it down? Yeah, because, like, yeah, there's something on it keeping it down. I got a beard brush, too, so... Uh, yeah, I don't use the beard brush. What the hell? You just... Almost Just whipped it up. Yeah, I was scared, dude. <laughs> yeah, man. I uh, I wish they had like that hair tonic they had in Looney Tunes commercials where you can put it on and just make sure beard growing thick. American <laughs> exactly. Bugs Bunny would put a hair tonic on something. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about, but you put it on your beard and not your balls. <laughs> no, dude, I just want a big beard down in my area. No, dude, no, I just wish they had some of that. I wish that was real. Ah, uh, because like. I don't know. How much do you want to grow your beard out? No, nah, I'm good where it is. No, you. Gonna... I got complimented on my beard a few times. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, dude, I was like, wow, look at that. I was like, I changed. I, okay, I rocked the same beard for a very long time, and it was short, and I changed it up. Oh, I didn't. Realize. And I got some compliments, and I was like, is it that big of a difference? Like, holy f! I didn't realize you changed it up, sir. I know it's so it's so subtle. You didn't even notice. You see me all the time, right? Don't be all looking in your face. Yeah, either, no, fam. but like you're like, oh, he has a beard. Oh, he has a beard, right? Other people must have noticed something because, like, I've had people like, oh, your beard looks good. Oh, you keep your beard nice and trim. That's nice. I'm like, that's important. I'm like, Ooh, girl, shit. <laughs> there it is. I knew it's, if it's anybody all, was going to do it, it's going to be. It's all natural. <laughs> <laughs> it's when I get to talk about stuff I'm really passionate about, like women. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's late enough in the video, dude. Ain't nobody watching. It's all good, John. No one heard me drop the S bomb. They always hear it. You're, you're absolutely right, though. <laughs> what kills me is that there's a lot of people on YouTube. Come on. Let's say I made it. I obviously did. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people on YouTube that still swear all the time and yet they get monetized. But I guess with this new system that they're rolling out, it's going to help facilitate to the edgier channels. I had to use quotation What fingers. do you mean? 
Uh, so they're trying to say is like they know they kind of moved the goalpost on us a little bit with the whole like you can just say whatever you want to to hey you can't even swear in the first like at all in your video right 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 to now it's like you can swear but not in the first couple minutes of the video to it's just a lot of stuff and then there was the whole thing about uh, certain YouTube channels that had stuff that was thought to be exploitative to children okay and it isn't exactly the the worst way possible that you're thinking of right right uh so they're just getting they're trying to cut click cut clear lines when it comes to the type of uh the stuff that that just throw the ball man the so type like, of swearing's allowed now just not excessive <laughs> it's not even about that it's more about like uh it's more about like some companies might want to advertise to a channel if they're swearing in it. Like a rated R movie, they don't really care if you're swearing in your video. If anything, oh, it, I see what you mean. Yeah, so they're trying to cut clear lines with their advertisers and the channels as well. Like, what do you want to advertise on videos for kids? They want it to be for something that's not for kids exactly. because they don't. Kids aren't going to come see their movie anyway. Exactly. If you're selling like rubbers. They'll put, they're like, oh, well, if it's a video for kids, we can't advertise rubbers. But if it's a channel that swears and whatever, we can advertise rubbers. That's all right. Yeah. And so they're just trying to cut clear lines. And I feel like it's going to be a little bit, uh, it's going to be a little abrasive in the, in the start for what they're doing here. But eventually. But overall, will be better. Eventually, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that is all the time we have for today's game. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. And uh, if you don't, uh, try again. So just keep on watching. Yeah, keep watching until you like it. Yeah, eventually. It's like that. It's like when you eat a new food and you hate it, but you keep eating it, and then all of a sudden you crave it. It's like yeah. that. Do that. But and, for Jonas, and TNT Dynamite. we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. San Francisco. It's an ideal.